Hi, I'm Javier Lozano. I'm John Galloway. And we want to say thank you for uh, making NBC Conf a great success this time around. So we're going to have a couple closing items for you to, uh, for you to look at, and, um, and hopefully we can get you guys on your way. So first and foremost, all sessions are going to be recorded. Um, the big thing about the live streaming is that if you want to, you can scroll all the way to the beginning and view the keynote and up to uh, Phil's, Brad's, and um, um, Glenn's yeah. presentations yeah. and get everything you want out there. So, it's all you, so you don't have to wait for anything. In fact, you can do that right now. As soon as we're done talking, scroll right on back. So That is correct. And also, we're, we're, we'll be posting the videos out on the NBC Com site and as well on Channel 9 for everybody right. to view. So, All right. So please, please also make sure you go over and rate your sessions. We, we get the, a lot of feedback that way, and we can make sure we provide the right content the next time around. And uh, I know the speakers really appreciate that kind of information. That's right. Last year, uh, Jimmy Bogard's talk on putting your controllers on a diet was the highest rated session. And we really used that when we were telling, mm -hmm. when speakers wanted to know what sort of content right. and what our audience was for these, we said, look at this presentation. So really, please do rate the sessions. Those yep. help a lot. All right. Uh, of course, we need your help, right? This is a community event. And to be successful, we, it takes all of us working together. One of the biggest things for this, obviously, is the videos. You know, we've been through Twitter, we've been getting a lot of a lot of questions about, you know, how do you know when are they going to be posted? All these different things. Well, we need to edit them, we need to process them, and all that takes work, it takes man hours. Mm -hmm. So please email us at um, info at mecconf or tweet to us so that we can get some of that stuff going. Mm -hmm. So, all right, and of course, none of this would have been possible without our sponsors. Specifically, uh, Umbraco, our platinum sponsor, who made the live streaming possible, and of course, Microsoft, for allowing us to host this in Channel 9. Yeah. And it has been so great. Uh, specifically, uh, Nick Fillingham and Mike O'Neill from the Channel 9 Studios team. Yeah. They were awesome. They made all of this run so smoothly. You know, I think people, some people may assume this is a Microsoft conference. This is actually just a community run conference, and Microsoft has offered some support to it. So they've been great to offer mm -hmm. the studios and everything, but actually, you know, it's, it's been these sponsors here that have made this possible, paying for streaming and all that. So, All right, so uh, John, I think you have some stuff to cover for us. Yeah, so, you know, we've been through a, a ton of content. A lot of this has been uh, advanced content. Um, so I just want to kind of run through where are some places where you can go to learn more. Um, and I'm going to kind of walk through if you're uh, starting out and then all the way through to wanting some advanced content. So a great place to start for the MVC information is the homepage, ASP.net slash MVC. And when you look at that, um, uh, let me see. So am I, I need to, just a second. I need to actually move this over to the other monitor. Oh, we're behind it. <laughs> there we go. OK. So uh, so if you go to ASP.net slash MVC, you'll see a Scott Hanselman in a kind of interesting sweater. And you, you'll also see there's some step-by-step -step tutorials. So if you look at the first one, this is one that Scott Hanselman and some other folks worked on. This has code in both VB and C Sharp, and it's very introductory. It, it does use you know, MVC3, it uses Razor and NuGet, but it really kind of steps through at a basic level. It's something that hopefully anyone should be able to follow. If you want something a little more advanced, there's this MVC music store. So this is an application I worked on. Um, there are 10 full parts to it, and there's actually a, a, an accompanying PDF so this is, uh, if I bring up, just throw this over real quick. Oh, so wow. there's a 150-page PDF here that walks you through each of the steps one by one and, and you know, really kind of shows every step of the way. So it's, it's a little more advanced. It takes you through things like uh, AJAX, authorization, validation, templating, wow. those sort of things. So Sounds pretty complete. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's not... It's not uh, patterns and practice code. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, this is the start to finish way. It's 150 pages of beginner <laughs> tutorial, you know, so it's the most that I could kind of fit into that amount. So if you want to go beyond that, and people will say, well, what about unit testing? What about dependency injection? Then what about, you know, filters and that sort yeah. of thing? So there's the web camps. And first of all, the web camps are events. There's a lot of one and two day events. Um, you have speakers like Scott Hanselman, Phil Hack. Um, and so, and Brandon Satram and Clark Sell. Uh, Brandon spoke today. He gave a great yeah. session. Um, so the, there's one, and uh, the two-day events have a full day of training followed by a day of labs, and you'll actually go through and and either work on labs or build out some cool things. It's mm -hmm. kind of hackathon That's pretty style. Awesome. And then there are also a lot of one-day events. 
Now, if you can't make it to one of these, there's also the Web Camps training kit. So this is the content that's been prepared. This is uh, trainingkit.webcamps.ms. So the first, oh, wow. just to get to the Web Camps site is webcamps.ms. And so that has some more beginning and level, uh, intermediate level labs. And so it's actual, you know, full on, you know, tutorial that you work through. It has code to work through cool. and all that. So, um, so then we go to, of course, there's information on MSDN. One thing I wanted to highlight here, there's this um, content map for MVC3. So if, if you look on MSDN and you, and you go to the MVC3 section there, there's a huge content map. And that kind of walks through code samples, information. It also has a list of some kind of top blog posts. Oh, awesome. So uh, one other thing that I just have to point out is uh, Rick Anderson, uh, who works, he, he works on a lot of this documentation stuff, and he's written a huge FAQ. So this just goes on and on oh, and wow. on and on. So there's a huge amount of information there. Um, one thing, of course, I'm hopping all over the place, pointing you to all these different sources of information. So <laughs> we realize it's hard to find all this stuff. So when MVC3 came out, I worked with Phil Hack on this. We came up with kind of an all-up page for MVC3. So if you go to HTTP uh, ASP.NET slash MVC slash MVC3, then there's you know information here. There's an installer link. There is a kind of an overview of everything that's in in here with links to all the blog posts where you can find out more. So that's ASP.NET slash MVC slash MVC3. One of the things in here is a link to the release notes. Just want to point out they used to be in Word format, and Phil and I worked really hard on converting these to, to HTML. So a little bit more readable, something you can you know bookmark and link to and copy code out of easy and stuff. Um, the final thing on the ASP.NET side I want to point out is I do these updates for this daily community spotlight. So I like to link to you know if you do a great post and you'd like it featured there, let me know. Um, this is it's community spotlight, so it should yeah, be awesome. you know. I end up linking to Microsoft blogs when I can't find or, or don't you know don't run across good community content. So send me ones if you think that you've got a good one that should be there. Great. And Channel Nine, I just have to point out, we're in the awesome Channel Nine studios. Yeah, these, these guys are have been sweet. so helpful, and they have tons. If you search for MVC three, there's a lot of videos just out there on that. So I mean, there's tons of content there. The last thing I'm going to wrap up with here is Pluralsight. They, um, as, as Scott Guthrie talked about this morning during the keynote, he said that they're, they're going to make these available. I think it's, uh, almost, it's like three hours, a little over three hours worth of information. It's incredible, very high quality um, by K. Scott Allen. And so that's going to be available for, for 48 hours. Um, and Scott will. Blog or yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's uh, Scott will be blogging about that when it'll become live. So go check out his blog. Great. So that's all I got. So well, again, thank you very much for making this a very much uh, great success. And uh, please check out our website or Twitter feed as we ramp up for MVC Conf three. Yeah, it sounds scary saying that, but <laughs> we can do it. Again, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.